another episode of Loop Tips by Flow Components. On today's episode, we're looking at two of the more common operating principles for automatic greasing systems on mobile equipment. With more on that, we go to Mike. Mike? Thanks, Gabriel. Today, we're going to talk about a comparison between parallel and progressive loop systems. Before getting into the comparison, we want to show you that what we're talking about is the operating principle of the system. Here we have two progressive systems, segmented block, one piece block. Both valves are progressive in their operating principle, even though one is a segmented, one is a one piece. Okay, now that we've established, depending on the uh, type of system, the metering valves may change as far as being one piece or segmented. When we start looking at parallel compared to progressive type systems, both systems have a pump as we can see here. We have lines going from the pump to the metering valves here and from the pump to the metering valves here. This system is a parallel type system, this system is a progressive type system. When we compare the two, we have the parallel system that works like the brake system on your car. You have the pump creating a hydraulic pressure to these individual metering valves. Okay, Some people call them injectors. These operate under hydraulic pressure, so you have to pressurize the system and then vent. One of the advantages of a parallel type system is that each metering block right here, or injector, right, operates simultaneously, but they're independent which means that if a feed line here supplying a bearing gets blocked, pinched, stops delivering grease, this one injector or metering block stops working, the rest of the system continues to work, your machine gets lubricated. Compared to a progressive type system where we have a pump again, your main line going to what is called a master valve or primary valve, then secondaries located across the machine. The way this system works, it's like a waterfall. Before piston 2 here moves, piston 1 has to move. So as the lubricant comes into the main line, the main valve, this moves, this moves, and this moves. Distributing grease to the different zones where the secondaries operate the same way as a waterfall. One of the advantages to this is single point monitoring. If this line here gets blocked, pinched, stops delivering grease, it backs up like a dam in a waterfall, okay, which this system has indicators telling you. This pin will stop moving, you'll see high pressure on the gauge, and we also have available from some suppliers reset indicators which are performance indicators, telltales, that will either pins will pop out or rupture disc and you'll see grease. Both types of systems have their advantages and disadvantages. It is up to you to determine what best suits your needs when you're looking at automatic lubrication systems. Thank you for your time. Back to you, Gabriel. What's that? <clears throat> Thanks for that, Mike. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. For more information and tips, check out our website, flowcomponents.com. Until next time, thanks for watching.